This is In the Paint, courtside highlights of Arizona Junior College Hoops. The South Mountain Cougars women's basketball team played host to Tohono Udon Jagos. Getting straight to the action, Cougar freshman Akela Taylor fights through defenders for the layup, Cougars up by one. Jagos then go on an eight point streak as Rebecca Hara and Lorena Talla contribute to the offense with their long baskets leading to a Cougars timeout. The timeout helps South Mountain forward Taylor and Jordan Bridges fight for points as Taylor rushes through Jago's traffic for the quick pass to Bridges and finishes with a layup. Jago's offense came to life as guard Sequeda sinks the three-pointer, sparking Tohono's offense. Tohono ran away in the second, ending the first half 35-14. The second half action begins as TOCC's offense continues driving in South Mountain territory. Hitting three-pointer after three-pointer, guard Adalia Scalindo, Brittany Laguindis, and Yolanda Mitchell all sink their threes, locking in the lead for the Jagos. Securing the Jagos win 61-27. February frenzy continues as the Phoenix College Lady Bears venture to the East Valley to battle with the Chandler Gilbert Coyotes. Phoenix dominated the first half, led by sophomore center Shelby Dre, and freshman Ariana Sesma as the Bears built a 17-point lead. Chandler Gilbert fought back with a strong effort by freshman center Jesse Neff and the outstanding play of their freshman guard tandem of Dallas Jones and Naomi Claw. In the second half, it didn't take long for the Lady Bears to build their lead back to 17. Freshman guard Julia Cordova dazzled the capacity crowd with her pinpoint shooting. Once again, the Coyotes battled back as Starla Smith finds Chelsea Rock along the baseline. Jessica Neff scores late in the game, but Phoenix held on to win 74-62. For In the Paint, Jeff Lowry, MC TV Sports. Coaches hosted Scottsdale Community College in a 76-57 win over the Artichokes. Teora Mae Solomon dominated with 21 points. Mesa traveled to Pima to take on the Aztecs. It was a close game, but Pima held on for the 55-54 victory. Central won 87-61 in its game against Glendale. Jalen Fields led the way with 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 steals. Arizona Western stunned Eastern with a 79-73 win. Katarina Maracic had 32 points on 10 of 13 shooting from downtown. The second-ranked Central Arizona women's basketball team looked to sweep fourth-ranked Mesa Community College in their second matchup of the season. Mesa's Janessa Awkward strips the ball away, then Megan Gillespie with the backdoor cut to score. Central's Casey Williams out there hustling, grabbing back-to-back -back offensive rebounds. Later in the possession, it's Williams again, setting up Roderica Ware for the jumper. Mesa's Kylie Hurd gets around her defender and scores her ninth point. Vaqueros' Moriana Clayton ties it up at 23 to close the first half. Coming out of halftime, Central goes on a 7-1 run with this triple from Roderica Ware. The Thunderbirds respond with a run of their own. Erica Vasquez beats the shot clock buzzer with a three-pointer. And Vasquez again wide open for two as she gathers an eight to nothing run all by herself. Mesa with the lead, but not for long. Candace Barber gets going with her first shot of the night. After trading baskets, the Vaqueros finally run away with it in the 57 to 48 win over Mesa. For In the Paint, I'm Ashley Neville, MCTV Sports. Eastern Arizona bounced back from its last loss and beat Scottsdale 69 to 61. Phoenix College beat Tohono 67 to 62. Glendale got the 63 to 53 win over Chandler Gilbert. Cochise clobbered South Mountain in a 77 to 33 victory. And Pima cruised past Arizona Western for the 77 to 53 win. The Aztecs shot 50% from the field while holding the Matadors to just 28% shooting. Eastern Arizona lost its second conference game of the season to Arizona Western, but remains in first with a 23-3 overall record. Second place Central is closing in on Eastern with an identical 17-2 conference record, but a 20-4 record overall.